Stay connected. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Tim Benny here from the Portland Voice. We're here with director Jack Carr. Jack, good afternoon. How are you? Hi, Tim. Thanks for having me on. Okay. So, Jack, tell the community about your upcoming play that's going to be at the uh, Homer Center of the Arts. I'm really excited about it. It's called Dragonfly. It's a brand new play, never been performed on stage before. Although last Sunday there was a Zoom production that was aired. It's on Facebook now or on YouTube, excuse me, both uh, by the Glimmer Globe, which is a branch of Cooperstown's Fenimore, Coop, Fenimore Museum. And Cooperstown is where the uh, playwright is from. Uh, I, I found out about the script because that playwright sent it to me. It was in manuscript form at the time. He was just working on it. He's the same uh, playwright who uh, is just starting out. And he wrote uh, a script that I, I picked up on called um, Quota System. And we actually made a film out of it. Gotcha. gotcha. But like, what was it about that script that like was so interesting to you or? It, it has everything but the kitchen sink. I mean, it, it, it talks about uh, the death of a parent, actually death of two parents, uh, a child's responsibility for caring for a parent uh, in the last stretches of time. It talks about forgiveness of self. It talks about overcoming fears. Um, it's about a counseling session by this cocky man who thinks he's got all the answers. And he gets the surprise of his life when he walks into the session and this um older counselor, uh, personal counselor, listens to him and discovers, helps him discover uh, what's been holding him back from having a healthy early life. It's, it's a brilliant work. It's, it's really a brilliant, brilliant work. And the actors uh, that I invited, I'm so glad that they picked up on it, are Marsha Mealy from Syracuse. She's a very well-known name there, she won a ton of awards, done a ton of work. And um, she plays the counselor and the young man is played by Matt Steele, uh, Cortland's, um, I call him Cortland's favorite son, but he's um, an actor who has been part of the central players for a long time and has done all kinds of character roles, usually the bad guy, the villain. And this time he's not so much the villain, but he, um, I would say even that he plays a slice of himself, a, a real true, a real life character, not a fictitious character, but a, a real to life person who's struggling and uh, looks for a happier future. That's the good part. I can see how uh, there can be the play and everything that's going on with the pandemic. I mean, do you kind of see that as well? And if so, exactly. You... Yes, I do. And I'm glad you asked that question. Um, I had to prove to the center players uh, that that's the governing board that decides what uh, is posted on a season. We're the first ones bang out of the gate um, after the pandemic and to start the 2021, 2022 theater season of community theater at the Center for the Arts. And I had to prove to them that this was a two character play. They never have to come anywhere close to each other. Uh, Marsha comes in uh, from one side of the building over here and stays over there on the left side of the stage and Matt, the right. They, they never are in the same area. They're never close to each other at all. And um, that was part of the appeal of the script for these times because it's not like they had to do a dance together. They, they didn't have to shake hands. They didn't have to hug, nothing like that. They are separate. And so I could prove to the center players that we had space Thank goodness we had space um, available at the center to keep them safe and to keep the crew safe and to keep the theater goers safe. Only 100 seats for that huge theater. So people will be spaced out as they need to be. Gotcha. So let me ask you this. Um, how do people get tickets for this? Speaking of the 100 ticket goers, are they right? Are they right. uh, the ticket right? Are they coming from the community? No, they're not. None of that. They have to call into the center, and that phone number is 607 749. 4900 that's the that's the main number for the center for the arts of homer and uh you'll give your name and you give how many people are in your party and they'll keep the records of that and that's how many playbills we'll have set out however many, many people call in to make a reservation there's no walk-ins 
no walk-ins. We have to make sure that people are COVID compliant, they're wearing masks, and they're being safe for themselves and for the health of everybody else in the theater. It's a 7.30 this Thursday and this Saturday, the 22nd and 24th. And I hope, I really hope people come see this remarkable work. The playwright will be there. He and his wife are coming from Cooperstown for both performances. I'm so excited about that. Mm-hmm. Now, let me ask you this. Is there any other things that you might want to tell the community or anyone watching um, about the play or a closing word? Um, that would make them want to jump in. I got it. Thank you. Thank you. I I hope the people will want to be there because number one, the two actors are just phenomenal. Both of them are outstanding actors, leaving it all on the stage. It's very emotional. Bring your Kleenex. Uh, It's very real to life. It uh, deals with the pandemic indirectly in that uh, overcoming huge obstacles, uh, breaking forward and and, um, having a healthier lifestyle at the other end of it and revealing something about yourself during this intermission time. Gotcha. Okay, beautiful. Well, thank you very much uh, for for meeting with me today. And uh, sorry, there was a little bit of a, a lag on it for a second. But once again, thank you for meeting with us today. I look forward to seeing you and uh, playing everything again. And thank you for having us. At, uh, everyone watching, attached to this or on courtlandvoice.com, you'll see photos that we took of them practicing from last week. So once again, um, Director Jack Carr, thank you very much. And uh, to everyone watching, thank you for choosing the Courtland Voice. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tim. Appreciate your time. Stay connected. Make sure you hit the subscribe button.